my god is it hot in here or is it just me um it's hot in here <laughs> beautiful people welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel today we are talking furniture so this piece of furniture that we're talking about is a dresser that belongs to my friend she had it over 17 years and a high sentimental value so she didn't want to get rid of it the way that we are about to update this furniture is by no way or means professional so it's just things that work for me and that's the way that i want to do it so yeah just do your furniture girl <laughs> now because of her sentimental value, we decided to restore the furniture. And this is how it looks before, this is how it looks after. If you want to see how I got this done, keep on watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'm no professional. We did this with no tools. How to updo and revitalize this piece, okay? <laughs> So this is how the dresser is looking right now. Pretty beaten up, right? I went ahead and removed all my knobs, my hardware pieces, and I rubbed them down with some sandpaper. Remove all the grease and dust using alcohol, and then set aside to spray in black. So I went ahead and removed the drawers for assessment, and I found out that one piece of my drawer is damaged. So... I'm gonna fix that but easy fix I then sprayed my knobs and set them aside to dry I went ahead and I sand on my piece off camera using a 120 grit sandpaper and then I used some mineral spirit to like clean down the unit if you don't have mineral spirits you can always use alcohol I went ahead and used some one inch headless nails to just fix the bottom of the unit and it's pretty simple and straightforward so you can see here. Out, it's the same. After all the sanding and fixing this is how my piece is looking. Most if not all the sheen is gone and it is smooth and ready to go. I am going to use Polyshade by Minwax to complete this project. This stain is a mixture of stain and polyurethane in the color Bombay Mahogany and it has a satin finish so I like this shade. I know someone is about to say that I like dark finish furniture but that's because to me they are easy to work with especially when you don't have the tools such as a spray gun. You can't really spoil dark colors right? I'm just using a clean cloth to apply my first coat of stain and this is because it will stain the parts of the wood that are bare and this will like even out the, to match the rest of the shade if you know what I mean. Remember I'm no pro so if any furniture expert out there like my friend <clears throat> I know this may not be the correct way but it works for me. You have just seen me apply the first second and third coats and man I was a bit worried because I was seeing the brush strokes and that's not cute but then I simply decided to use my brush to neatly apply thin and even layers from one side of the wood and to ensure that stain lasts out to the other hand this would reduce or eliminate the visible brush strokes when it is completely dried so in total I applied four coats. Listen, the direction said you are to sand between coats, but I didn't because the furniture was a already finished piece. If I was making something from scratch, then I would have to because the product brings out the greens in the wood. So after my fourth and final stain application, I allowed the unit to dry for like one hour. You really just need 15 minutes, but yeah, I gave it a hour and then I went ahead and placed my hardware's. Or my knobs on down, same job, same town, we've been taught 
I would advise you to go ahead and clean up inside your drawers. So if you have any spillage like you're seeing there, you can use thinner to get rid of that. Or you can use a piece of sandpaper to sand away any foreign object. Steps on the if you remember earlier this is how the unit was looking and voila this is the after i mean i really could spend a little more time to make the color between the drawer a little darker but who am i my friend liked it and she said the effect and the tone it created it was you know her taste so i left it i will be answering questions you have in the comments if you like this video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscription button and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching my content and before we go, I want to give a shout out to two important people. One, the Sherry K Graphics and two, the Shans experience. I will leave a link in the description box so you can get to those people. Now Sherry K Graphics does awesome banner designs and intro and the Shans experience she does nice recipes so if you want to learn to cook, if you want to learn new recipes and new ways how to do things, go over to the Shans experience channel and watch up her video, like, share and subscribe to her video. Thank you guys so much. Peace out.